So I thought it'd be useful to do a couple of tests just to see what the speed difference was. So I've got the Pi 3 connected up here with the original um, SD card in it. So I'm going to do the test to the point where it goes through the checks to make sure that um, there's no conflicts um, in open plotter. So that's the same point with each one. And then what I was thought to do then is to repeat the test basically with the same card in the Pi 4 um, and then also do the test again with the SSD to start seeing what the difference is between the models and also the type of storage and how that impacts the loading speed. Okay, so I will power up now and I'll start the stopwatch at the same time. seconds pretty much to the desktop. Wait for this to complete. Okay, pretty much a minute. So that's um, just over one minute to boot that. So I'll shut down now and we'll repeat the same test with the Pi 4. So the card is in the Pi 4 now. So one minute and three. So they're pretty much uh, the same, although I think some of that delay is the 25 seconds for the actual bootloader. So we will shut down and this time we will use the external SSD. Um, although it's not actually in the uh, Argon's case, um, it, it's, it's in a, an external drive still, but we'll run the same test and see. Reset and okay, this is SSD test. and we booted so roughly 38 seconds to a full boot there um, I, I honestly don't think the actual case um, with the argon is going to make any difference to that I can't see the circuitry being that much different to an external SSD but I will run the test again just to make sure um, but it's quite clear that with the SSD, the, the speed time is reduced to desktop. I mean, the general performance of the operating system is really fast. Um, and again, I'll try and capture some of that, but just in terms of booting it, it's definitely quicker with the SSD.